And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. Welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week, we're going to do A to Z elk hunting. What are you doing? I just, I was in a hole. Oh, whatever. I, I love, I really like you in hats. I really do it. And you know what this week's about? Yeah, I just told them A to Z elk. Ow. E L K Team Realtree elk. Ooh, Thank sorry. you. Mess up my hair. Too. Remember, guys, don't mess with their hair. <laughs> oh, bad. Anyways, this week we have a couple posse members, Randy Brander, Range and Randy. Range and Randy. Why do we say Range, range and Randy? Range and Randy Brander. Well, we don't want to get into that. We'll wait, let everyone else watch the footage for that. And then we also have posse member Jody Davis. JD. He drew Arizona. And big he JD. Takes an a lot of you elk. remember him. You know, he used to play for, he was a big catcher for the Chicago Cubs. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we had the shop, I mean, he was there every day shooting. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's been great to share. You know what's cool is it's hard to draw for Arizona. Yeah, and he drew. And Dick Tone's been telling us, you know, oh, you guys got to come down. And Well, J.D. finally drew, and was he covered up with elk. And you know what's really cool? His son mm -hmm. was out there filming him. I mean, that's what it's all about. And then we also have a bunch of tips on this show. Yeah. Just kind of help everyone out on their elk cutting because we didn't get to go, so yeah. Yeah, bummer. But yeah. maybe this year. Maybe. All right. Never well, know if we draw. Get, why don't we get going? Yep, you Let's got it. Let's get into Range and Randy Brander. <laughs> You're gonna break the camera. I swallowed a reed Stop. like years ago. Yeah, okay. Shh, quiet. Yeah, sir. Listen, if any of you have ever called in a, like a white-tailed deer, you know how fast they could cover ground. Now, double that ability. You've got elk, you, you do a bugle, you do your cow calls, they can come up, they can come down faster than you ever thought. So if you think you're in the area, get set fast.
welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's get back to Range and Randy. You know, he got hung up there with those cows. They just come down no problem, but those big old bulls, they just like to hang on up there. You know, a lot of guys go out there and they haven't done a lot of calling. They hate the reeds in their mouths. <coughs> HS makes the cow calls. And listen, if you use the tube with it, <coughs> you, can, you can direct it. And what you do is you create the sound in back you where if you're hunting by yourself, you can actually draw them beyond your spot and get that broadside perfect shot that we're looking for.
you know, a lot of times you see a lot of the hunters, gun and bow, actually wearing an apparatus like this, these harnesses. Well, believe it or not, folks, if you've got this harness on, it sure does help. But if you don't have a cover on your optics and all of your lenses are exposed to the elements, well, the problem here is when you come up to go and grab them, even though they're being held tight to you and they're all foggy and wet and everything and they got dirt inside them, you might as well not even carry any. Make sure on your straps, on your bino straps, that you have a cover to protect those lenses. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, let's check on JD as he's heading to Arizona and he's covered up with bull elk. Hi, I'm Jody Davis, uh, posse member for Archer's Choice uh, TV show. Uh, I finally got an elk tag to come out here and hunt with friends of mine. I uh, haven't been out here in eight years. I'd like to introduce you to Dick Tone, a good friend of mine, and Chad Connor. Uh, these guys have hunted this unit and they're uh, volunteered their time and uh, they've set up camp for us and and uh, they know this unit and that's just uh, extremely important for me uh, coming out here from Georgia and not being a, an elk hunter except every now and then when I can get a tag. You know, a lot of times you're going to hear these bulls and they're going to be going at it. And sometimes you'll even, they're going to get closer. Two bulls are going to start threatening. Well, the thing is, is you can slip in on them. And the thing you want, you want to do is remember this, is, is that animal is getting more aggressive. A lot of times it's better to go in there quiet. Let him raise his level of excitement. And when you get to his, his danger perimeter and all you got to do is just go, you better get ready because that bull's coming running because you already snuck in his backyard and he will defend it. Stick around. More Archer's Choice coming up right after this. 
Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's continue on with Jody Davis's Arizona elk hunt as he gets in the middle of the big bull and his cows. Chad, thanks a lot, man. You betcha, man. This is awesome. What, Look at this bad boy. It is, it is so nice to have somebody that's from the area that just can get out here and, and you know, just it loves to hunt them and get out here with me and uh, and just show me the unit. And uh, we didn't have any idea this bull was this big, but, man, thanks a lot. You bet, man. Anytime. This is Ooh, awesome. I tell you what. It, man. It's always exciting. I am still. I, when, that, <laughs> when that bull started up through there, I couldn't get an arrow knocked. <laughs> and I couldn't get my arrow on my string. Finally, I had to just calm down. And I mean, I couldn't believe it. He didn't see me draw, and he was walking right to us, and he got right there so close and turned broadside and started up the hill. I didn't think he was going to turn broadside. I thought he was going to keep walking right I thought he us. was going to walk right into us right into yeah. our face he and, turned uh, right uphill broadside he it turned perfect. right up the hill at what 15 yards 16 yards <laughs> i don't think it was over 12 or I don't 10. Know. I, it was close i had my sight set for 40 yards and i just <laughs> knew i had to pull it down low <laughs> <laughs> you made a good shot on him too man boy thanks a lot i appreciate your time and uh, camping with us and we're gonna get to sleep in a little now oh, yeah. hey randy you know it happens and jody congratulations that was awesome What are you doing? I'm rattling for elk. Yeah, okay. I'm writing a book on this one. Okay, well, we're supposed to be closing the show. Come oh. On. Close the show. Hey, folks, we hope you enjoyed this week's Archer's Choice. And Don't stab me. I found these in the backyard here in Illinois. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we want to thank you for sharing this great time. And we want to thank JD, you know, and, and, and Randy. Randy. And, you know, <laughs> Boy, there's some good lessons in this show. You know what I mean? You always want to try to range and, and you know, pour. Get ready ahead of time. Not, I mean, don't, don't, don't range right as they're coming in. That just doesn't Randy's work good. Randy's like this. He's ranging. He's okay. And all of a sudden, he catches out of his corner's eye, and this bull's right on him. And yeah, looking at him, he just had no chance. Nope. But, hey, you know, that's what happens. So, so next time you see Randy, you call him Ranging Randy. <laughs> nice. He's going to kill us. Well, remember, we want you to come back next week, same time. Same channel. Right here. On, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Hey, Ralph. I found some more poison ivy. I was thinking maybe you could go rolling it some more.